Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Code with Ease. Today we are going to discuss about another string problem, minimum indexed character. This problem can be found in the Geeks for Geeks topic wise practice section. So let's try to go through the problem statement first. Given a string str and another string padt, we have to find the minimum index of the character in str that is also present in padt. So let's see this example. So we have a string, first string which is geeks for geeks and the second one is set and the output is one. As we have the explanation because e is the character which is present in str and it is also present in the other string set and the minimum index of e is one which means the minimum index of the occurrence of that common character in the str string which means e is common in both. So the first occurrence or the minimum uh, index uh, of that character is what we have to return as an output. In the second example, however, we are seeing the output is minus one because there is no character that is common in between these two strings. So let's try to understand the approach for this question. So there are two things that is highlighted in this one. The one keyword is minimum index and second keyword is also present. So there are two things. So one is the min index and second is also present. When, when it is said that also present, which means we definitely have to find a character that is common in both. So also present gives us a hint that we are looking for a character that is common in both these strings that's that's number one and if it is common among the common character we have to find that character which has the lowest index which means the character that occurred early on in the first string because e as we can see e is the character that is common here anyway we have one character only in common but e we can see that has occurred multiple times across str, which means the index of E is changing for every occurrence. But we are returning 1 because the earliest occurrence of E is at index 1. So with these two highlights with us, we can think of the approach as uh, maybe we can, uh, we can try to use a hash map. Um, in the hash map, we will have the, um, we can have the character as the key, the character as in each character of str. And in the value, we can have the index of that character as the value. So once we have our hash map ready with the key and value of the character and the index respectively. So with this index as the value, we can find out the character. I mean, we can, uh, I can write this as we can traverse to the keys of the map, keys of the map, and check if that character is contained in our second string that is PADD. First check, we have to do this check if the character is contained because if we don't, if the character is not contained in PATT, we, we do not care about whether it is a minimum index or whatever the index value is. We'll come to the value part only when the character is present in PATT. So if, if it is present, if present, then we have to uh, add some logic to get the minimum index out of the given, I mean the minimum value among the values of hash map. So that is the logic that we are going to have. So let's start with the coding. I'll take these two strings as the input. I take uh, this as str and the 
other string and define a method. So as we have the method ready, so let's try to create the map first, the hash map, in which we are going to have the character as the key and the index value is going to be the integer. So I can name this as map of characters. And it's going to be a hash map. Okay, so then the next step is we have to traverse. So, okay, no, we have to. Okay, so the next thing is uh, we have to iterate through the string that is str and keep on adding the characters along with its index to the map. So, we have a for loop where it will be this is the index. So within this for loop, we are going to have a if condition and this in this way, we're going to check if the map of characters are contains key and then str dot carat of uh, We are going to invert this condition because uh, if it doesn't contain, which means if it is a first occurrence of that character, uh, only then we are going to insert that into the map. If it's a duplicate occurrence, we are not going to add that to the map. Why? Because we need the minimum index, which means the earliest occurrence or the first occurrence of a, of a character. So that's why we have inverted the condition. So in this, you know, we just uh, add this to the map with the character that is str.i. Okay. And the index that is i. So in this part, we are simply adding the characters to the map along with its index. In the second part, we have to traverse through the keys of the map and check if the character is contained in second string that is PATT. And yeah, if present, then some logic has to be there to get the minimum value out of that. So in this, to traverse through the keys of the map, we have to use another for each loop. So as we know that the key of the map is of, of is of type character so we can use character and then we'll say map of characters dot key set so once we have this um uh, the first thing what uh we discussed is you have to check if the character is contained in fact so we'll have a if condition and we'll say if p a t t dot contains what if it contains the character c uh, because contains can take in a char sequence and C is a primitive character. So we can just simply concat that with an empty uh, string. Okay, so if it contains this, if this is if this is true, okay, so I'll just put another loop here that if this is contained, okay, and the what's the uh, the another logic is we have to check for the minimum value. So what we can do is we can take one minimum variable and assign that to so max value. Uh, I have to change the return type. It should not be void. It should be because you have to return the index value. So it should be of type int. So I've just initialized this variable main to the max value. And in this, we need to say that if uh, it contains, and then what we have to do is we have to take the index value, which means uh, map of characters dot get dot get gives us the value corresponding to the key. So what's the key? The key is this, the cat. Okay, if this, the value is lesser than min. So, okay, let me just run through the condition again. In the first part we are saying, if the PATT contains the character that we are looking for, I mean, uh, not looking for, if it contains the character that currently we are at in the map. If it contains, only then we are going to go to the second part of the 
uh, condition because if it doesn't contain then what's the point in checking for the min as we have the question again we have to find that is also present so that was the highlight right it has to be also present in the second string so first we check for the existence in the second string if it is true then we are checking the index value and we are comparing that value against a minimum value which is which is initially assigned to this but it when it will keep on changing whenever we have even lower values so if if that's the case that uh, uh, the current index is lesser than min so we have to update the min to whatever the current index is that is map of characters dot get c. So now in this way, once we keep on uh, traversing through the key set of the map, we are going to update this main value. Oops, uh, we're going to update this main variable to the actual index, uh, the actual minimum index value that we require. Once this is done, then we can simply return the min here um yeah that's it i think so we can return the value min so let's try to print this out we can try running this one so i think uh in the example above, we have the output one. Yeah. Um, let's try to tweak the input a bit. Let's say, so this is E, right? Okay. Mm. Okay, so I just tried to add uh, some more characters which will be common. So I've added G and I've also added K. So let's see, try writing this. zero because g is the character that is common apart from e and k but the minimum index is of g in str is zero so i think uh, there is another test case uh, that we overlooked uh, it was the example two in which we have to return minus one if there is nothing common so it's not just uh, returning the index only, but uh, there's an edge case that if nothing is common between these two strings, we have to return minus one. So let's see how do we deal with that. Um, as we are going to return min over here, uh, what's the uh, what's the scenario in which we will have to return minus one? That can happen when this if condition that we have given in this. For every character that is contained in the key set, this condition, the first part of the condition, patt.contains, this is turning out to be false for every character, which means none of the characters is being contained in patt. I mean, nothing is common between both. So if this condition is never true, which means our min will never get updated, right? If our min is never going to get updated, then what is going to be the default value of min? It's going to be integer dot max value. So we can play around uh, with that. So we can say that uh, instead of return min, we can add the turn the operation. We're going to say that if min is not equal to integer dot max, oops, integer dot max value, if it is not equal to, then it means that it has been updated. So in that case, we have to simply return whatever the min is. Else, if it is equal to, then we have to return minus one. So with this, let's try to change our uh, inputs to whatever we have in the second example. And let's try running this. So yeah, we have minus one. Let's also try running the initial test case. Yeah, so the output is as expected covering all the test cases. So yeah, that's about this problem. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. So thank you so much for watching.